Good morning from the National Weather Service office in Lake Charles. I'm meteorologist Donald Jones and this is your weather briefing for Sunday, August 28th with the latest on Invest 99L and our rain chances coming up here for the week. Taking a look at 99L this morning, we can see it's still making its way through the western Caribbean between the southern coast of Florida and the northern coast of Cuba. And despite continuing to produce showers and thunderstorms across parts of Cuba and the Florida Keys, it remains highly disorganized. Hurricane Hunter aircraft are scheduled to investigate the system later this afternoon, although no level circulation is apparent on the visible satellite this morning. Taking a look at the radar out of Key West this morning, and you can see the showers and thunderstorms associated with 99L. There's really not a whole lot there this morning. And while there does appear to be some broad rotation, again, even on radar, there's really no indication that a low-level circulation has formed. This is a look at a video out of Key West yesterday, though, and as you can see, those showers and thunderstorms have been producing some flash flooding across parts of Key West. And that's the nature of these tropical systems. We were dealing with something similar just a couple of weeks ago. These systems have the potential to produce very heavy rainfall that can result in some localized flash flooding. Now here's a look at the tropical weather outlook through Tuesday. And as far as 99L goes, the Hurricane Center has actually increased the chances of development from 30% yesterday to 40% today. Because 99L is moving into a more favorable environment over the southeastern Gulf of Mexico. Other features of note on this map here, the area of disturbed weather to the southwest of Bermuda that we were looking at yesterday has developed into Tropical Depression 8 as of 10 a.m. this morning. And there's also Gaston, which as we mentioned yesterday was forecast to become a hurricane again, and it did become a hurricane again overnight last night. Gaston, of course, is no threat to any landmass and will continue to be nothing more than a fish storm. Here's the five-day tropical weather outlook, and for 99L, Hurricane Center is calling for a 60% chance of development as it moves into the eastern Gulf of Mexico. And there's also a 60% chance of development from the storm coming off the west coast of Africa. That one will bear watching, but we have plenty of time to watch that as it'll take about two weeks to cross the Atlantic Ocean. Here's the official forecast for Tropical Depression 8. It is forecast to become a tropical storm in about 36 to 48 hours, and the name that it will receive will depend on the strength of the other systems out in the Atlantic. Of course, the next name on the list being Hermine, and this system could potentially impact especially the outer banks of North Carolina in the coming days. Back across our area, we've been dealing with a weak tropical system of our own, and parts of the area actually picked up anywhere between 4 and 5 inches of rain yesterday across parts of southeast Texas. Other areas saw anywhere between about 1 to 3 inches. And that's going to continue again today. This is the radar as of 9.30 this morning, and as you can see, only light showers out there right now. But we are expecting some additional development as temperatures warm up, and some of these storms will have the potential to produce heavy rainfall. Here's a look at the forecast rainfall totals for today, and along the coast we'll be looking at about an inch. The general philosophy is to double these values for locally heavy rainfall, so perhaps up to two inches along the coast. Further inland along the I-10 corridor, anywhere from about a half an inch up to an inch. And then up across central Louisiana we'll be looking at up to a quarter of an inch possible. So high rain chances for today, we're going to be looking at about an 80% chance for today. For Monday, 55%, and then the rain chances drop off for the rest of the week with only a 20-30% to 30 chance of rain, and that's mainly going to be just a stray afternoon thunderstorm through next weekend. So to summarize, Invest 99L remains a highly disorganized system, but will have the potential to get better organized over the next couple of days as it moves into the southeastern Gulf of Mexico. Tropical Depression 8 has formed southwest of Bermuda and could potentially impact the Carolina coast by midweek. Today we're expecting about a half to one inch of rainfall across the I-10 corridor southward with local amounts up to two inches possible. Of course we recommend you stay up to date with the latest on the tropical situation and we'll continue to do these briefings as long as they're deemed necessary. Our next briefing will be later on this afternoon. Make sure you take those umbrellas with you if you're venturing out today, and we hope you have a wonderful Sunday.